Okay, this thing is loading mad asses. But <laughs> the logo and the way this looks. Ooh, hey. <laughs> this looks nice. Ah, uh, your boy, <laughs> Mr. Swole. Actually, is kind of fat in this game, but you know, we're in here. So, guys, this is a new One Piece game. So, I guess new One Piece game alert. Yes, sir. I want to give a shout out to my boy Zenoki for actually letting me know about this game. Well, he's the owner, so <laughs> he said he dropped the game. And I was like, All right, I'll make a video on it. So yeah, typically I will give a shout out to one of you guys for recommending a game for me to play in the Discord server. But since the owner himself recommending it, yeah, that's pretty much what happened. But if you want to shout out in the next video when I play a game that you recommend, just join my Discord server and drop a game recommendation. Also, I give away bow bucks every single day, my boy. All you got to do is just drop a comment in the comment section below and make sure that your friend requests are public so that I can send you a friend request when you win. But yeah, that's pretty much that. Good luck to everybody that enters. So let's uh, let's take on the first quest. Help, bandits have been ransacking the village. I'm not strong enough to take them. It's all right, brother. I got you. All right, bro. This is exactly like it is in uh, a One Piece game, right? But let's attack four bandits. We got the quest. Well, let me press the menu key here. Um, we have codes that we can use. We have game passes and stuff that we can buy. Um, so there's like, whoa, is that 300 bow bucks for one hour of belly? Hell no. Oh, nah, bro. <laughs> Oh, not and the game passes are expensive. My boy Zenoki, can you scream cash grab louder, brother? <laughs> all right, at least double XP is not that bad. Double XP is, uh, you know, uh, only 100 bull bucks for an hour. But all right, I don't know, bro. Uh, we're gonna leave it as this for now. We're not gonna buy anything. We're gonna start off free to play. See how it goes. Uh, we do not start off with any stat points, unfortunately. We have zero in strength. Uh, make it make sense. You get one for everything else, but zero for strength. Can you guys go ahead and read that text that's on screen right now? You swore that you would like the video, and now you have to do it, guys. Thanks so much. <laughs> Love you guys. I'm going to catch you later. So then we have background music. Let's turn that off, even though it's not on. <laughs> and we have a couple of other effects here in our settings. Okay. We have storage for our fruits. We have three slots, and each one costs bow bucks. The third slot costs 1,500 bow bucks. What? All right. And then we have boats over here. We, only, we can only buy a dinghy, a sailboat, and a sail ship. But of course, you can pre-order boats. I think they're going to have the striker. Yeah, they're going to have the striker boat and the coffin boat active. I don't know. Sometime soon, I guess. I'm over here is like, yo, I'm a fan, my boy. Yeah, get your head straight, first of all, but appreciate you being a big fan, brother. I like that. Now, let me let me check this out. What is this? Do you set your spawn here? This might be like a spawn point setter, guys, but I like how the map looks. All right, at least the game has that going for itself. But let's check out the melee real quick. Uh, even though all these guys... Oh, you know what this reminds me of? Uh, pixel piece, like the way that the, the little... <laughs> Did we just gain four levels by killing one bandit? All right. I don't even know what the max level is in this game, but holy smokes, dog. All right, let's kill another bandit. Uh, so we gained two levels. All right, so leveling is pretty easy. I like that a lot, actually. Okay, now, now they're kind of making me want to spend money on the game. <laughs> All you got to do to make me spend money on a game is make a game just how I like it, which is easily leveling up. So that way, pay to winning for me is even better. But all right, we're almost done uh, with the quest. Oh, actually, we just finished it. So we got to level 10 from one quest, which is pretty good. And we got 400 bounty, which is displayed by this up here, 400 PS, right? So all right, here we go. Let's see how many stat points. We have 27 stat points available. Let me, let me just put 10 into strength. All right, they have like a really cool effect when you allocate your stat points, but let's see. Okay, yeah, we're doing a really good amount of damage now. So, like I mentioned before, I think I remember playing Pixel Piece, which is another One Piece game that's coming out in the future, and the effects were very similar for like the text pop-ups and stuff like that. But beyond that, I mean, I think I've seen another couple of One Piece games have similar effects. How the hell did that guy level up so many levels? So if you guys take a look at the right-hand corner, they have Armament Hockey available, and then we have Conqueror's Hockey down here as well. Uh, I can press the Z key to tackle so that's that move that's crazy all right hold on let's take a look around here somebody else over here who's this guy random fruit number two hey listen kid i got a deal for you okay he's gonna sell us a double fruit um 500 bow bucks let's see let's let's click with robux oh but it's only 300 now okay for your purchase failed because something went wrong what all right let's try it again Maybe this is broken, but I like that. <laughs> I like this is cheap. You know, it's not that much compared to other games for a random devil fruit. Oh man, I can't even buy it. God dang it. Come on, brother. Ah, oh, very interesting. So I joined the game's Discord server and it says right here, many of you may wonder why this game resembles a One Piece game slash SP. I don't know what that is, SP. But this game was originally apparently that game, but redeveloped and apparently Boss, who's the owner of APOG, which is a One Piece game, he also owns a copy of SP that he remade into a One Piece game. And and it seems that FP is staying, which is fruit P. 
Peace, the game that we're playing right now. Apparently, they have variants in the game for fruits. So, variant is a super rare reskin version where fruit you have a chance to get it from finding or buying fruits. Buying with Robux offers a two times chance. And then they have unique accessories, which is a rare version of a premiering accessory that offers more and better buffs than its counterpart. Guys, so there's only two codes right now. Uh, like for more and release are the two codes you can use for a couple of uh, boosts, if you will. All right, cool. So, now that I activated those two codes, I'm going to try to take on the boss we just took on wait can we accept multiple quests oh, okay maybe we might be able to but it seems that we can only accept one for the time being so i gotta find oh you can have gepo without having to actually unlock it <laughs> so we're gonna try to kill the boss here and see how many levels we get somebody's using a double phone that has really cool effects bro all right did we just what the hell oh oh okay we just completed a quest all right yo this guy has like a really cool fruit i'm asking him if it's yami because he has like a really nice like effect when he actually oh what the hell yo he has apparently his fruit is called if, if you see up here amaterasu meta yo that's cool i guess this game might have like uh variations to the devil fruits which is what they were talking about with the skins and stuff and you get a two times chance when you buy it randomly i don't know unfortunately the game doesn't have a trello so that i can like you know get up-to-date information on everything so we're just gonna have to keep at it as is if you will but so far so good though i mean all right you know what since i like how the game looks and stuff like that it's very expensive but i'm gonna buy your rule it's 1500 gold bucks it's like we do this in every game and they they sure as heck got me <laughs> They got me for sure on this game. So yeah, we just got Yoru. This is how it looks. This is the model. I'm going to show you guys regular M1 damage. Okay, we don't really do a crazy amount of damage. But uh, yeah, that's that. <laughs> you run around kind of funny with it. But let's go ahead and put, I guess, 20 into our sword. We'll put 10 into our defense and then 8 into our stamina. They have a lot of stat points in this game, bro. Like, it's crazy. Okay, here we go. We're going to press our Z key. Uh, and that's my... Whoa, that ability looks so good. Oh, dog, bro. So my next ability for Yoru actually unlocks at mastery level 15 i'm trying to use it but as you can see up here it says skill lock yo but the abilities in this game look mad nice oh my gosh bro this is super super cool I, yo I'm, I'm really liking this game i don't know <laughs> i wasn't expecting much no hate my boy zeno key but i don't know i'm liking the game for real for real though okay so i finally have oh i need more stamina in order to use my next ability for yoru so hold on let's just kill the bandit boss here there you go so i'm gonna put another like i guess 11 stat points into stamina stamina and then we can use our x ability now so let's use that um okay i still can't use it apparently i gotta regenerate my stamina or regen it <laughs> let's go ahead and use cool gamer terms dude regen versus regenerate i think regen is cooler all right cool so i just got enough stamina right we're gonna press the x key and that basically ooh, Okay, that's a pretty nice ability. That's my next ability. That's a dimensional slash. All right, not bad. So we did get a drop from one of these guys, which is a bandana. So now we're thugged out, baby. Yeah, yeah. You understand? All right, I don't know if the bandana made me glitch out. Something made me glitch out because I'm like walking around like a block, bro. All right, let me reset. Hold on. Oh, what the hell? When, when did I get wings on my back? I don't know if those always have been there. What the hell? Oh, okay. People, people are saying in the chat, it's a glitch of your Skype Pia. Oh, I guess they have races and stuff in the game game all right well um i mean i don't know i think that might be all we can do at this starter island obviously they have other islands i think this might be the coliseum down over there yeah it is if you guys look so i don't know they only have what seems to be three other islands one of them being the coliseum down there this other island here and then this one here um but yeah i mean let me look around this map a little bit more and we'll see what else we can do actually we can't do nothing <laughs> But, yo, I like how this game looks a lot. Like, this is a whole vibe, the way the game looks. I like it. This guy's telling him... Okay, he's telling me to come with him. So, we're gonna go inside this house. We're gonna go up here. Run. What the hell? Oh, my... <laughs> yo, this man hit me with a smiley face. <laughs> Oh, nah, bro. This man finna make me catch a case, dog. What is he doing? Homie takes me to a house and gets on top of a bed, bro. What do you? What, come on, brother. All right. Oh, they have a black market merchant. All right. So, whoo wee. We can buy fruits for gems, right? Or we can buy it for belly. Um. So, I mean, I don't know. They got a couple of different fruits. Can I buy like the meta meta? How much is it with world bucks? Fifteen hundred. Damn. I mean, I, I I don't got that much bull bucks right now. I need to buy some more, but. <laughs> I'm all right. I'm all right for now, my boy. I really would have hoped that... Well, let me try it one more time, right? Because I think this thing is glitched out, but I really wanted to buy a random devil fruit because that 100% I would do. It's just... It's not working. You know what I mean? Look, I'm trying to buy it. Yeah, you see? Actually, I lied, guys. Uh, the game has way more islands than what I thought. 
um down over here there's a couple yeah they're kind of like disappearing i don't really know what's up with the with the game but anyway let's bring up our boats um i can afford a dinghy i can afford another boat too but let's spawn in a dinghy all right here we go how slow is this gonna go it's going so slow that it's actually not even moving my boy you gotta love it all right i guess i'll swim there <laughs> What the hell? Oh, man. This guy with the devil fruit, bro. I'm so jealous of that guy with the Matarasu, whatever, whatever. <laughs> that thing is so cool. All right. You know what? Since it's so easy to get money in this game, let me buy a sailboat. Can I spawn a sailboat? The hell? I guess I can't. I like the effect when you get into the water. It has like a little like splash effect. That looks pretty nice. Pretty unique too. You don't really see that in One Piece Roblox games. All right, guys. So I've made it to what appears to be Strawberry Island. Apparently, this is the next island. So I don't know. We'll see what we can get from here on out. Oh, oh, yo, this game, bro. This is like, oh, I see now. I think I remember what this game was before. This island is legitimately the same island as another game that we've played on the channel. I just forget the name of it. I think it was made by uh by kudo I, I don't know i forget i forget who was the owner i talked to so many people man I, I, I forget but this is quest number two so i'm just gonna accept it we gotta defeat six pirates i'm gonna try to i don't know if this is a spawn point or not bro but i stepped on it so maybe i'll spawn here i don't know <laughs> oh yeah and if you look at the right hand corner uh we see race skypean so that definitely is my so i now know how i ended up dying and spawning back at the starter area i just hope that i don't die again because i oh man this guy was about to use his move again bro but uh apparently you just click on the star there you go we set our spawn point you just can't simply walk on it you have to click on it you know um so oh, what's this are these more bandits down over here i think so right oh damn oh damn what's this i don't know i guess these guys are bandits we're gonna keep using our abilities here holy smokes man these guys are tanky bro all right oh my god why does this guy keep doing this man damn i forgive him because he says my bad vex in the chat but still getting real tired of dying out here in these streets man all right so we just completed the quest uh we got like five levels I mean, leveling is not that bad. I'm going to definitely buy an hour of double XP, though, because it's so cheap. It's only 100 bow bucks. So we're definitely going to do that. And uh, I, I don't know. I'm kind of tempted to buy another game pass and stuff, but I don't know. Yeah, VIP is pointless in this game, bro. VIP member perks include increasing rewards and AFK training. Like, what? <laughs> Who cares? <laughs> And tell me why I bought Yuru, but literally on the store page, it literally says buy still. I don't, bro, if I lose that weapon, bro, I'm gonna be so mad. I'm gonna be so mad if they update the game and I lose my game pass, bro. I wasted 1,500 bow bucks for what, man? For what, brother? <laughs> to get finessed? All right, so I'm gonna be a glass cannon kind of sword. I'm just gonna dump all my stat points into my sword, right? And we'll go from there. I don't know how to go, but I mean, honestly, I really can't do it because i need stamina that's only like the only thing that i can say that's whack about this game so far is how you need stamina to use your moves yeah aside from that not too bad and it's crazy because i can use my z key move without wasting stamina it's just my x key move on your rule that takes up stamina which is weird i don't know why that's the case but it is what it is by the way guys i want to point out that basically an easier spot to complete this quest is to just come to this corner because the npcs are all clumped up together and there's usually like nobody over here so it's a lot easier to complete this quest over here. But uh, anyways, oh, there seems to be a hidden pathway over here. Oh, oh Rayleigh is here. Is this armament hockey? 700,000 belly. Okay. Um, Can I buy it? Can I buy the belly? No, we can't. All right. I'm going to have to get, I'm going to buy six hours of <laughs> two times belly. This is so dumb. They're definitely tricking me here, but I, I'd rather spend on six hours than one hour for 500, you know? So 700k belly. We'll have to come back here, but he... He definitely teaches us something. It has to be ornament hockey, you know? So let's go on to the next island. We're going to follow my boy Crave over here because he knows where to go. So we'll just, uh, you know, do our thing and I'll keep you guys updated. Two hours later. All right. So from Strawberry Island, it seems that you go south and that's where the next island is going to be located at. Oh my God. Guys, literally while I'm recording this video, they made a Trello. <laughs> So we finally have a Trello. So this is going to help us out a lot throughout this video. And I'll reference it in just a bit after we check out this new island. But oh man, it's so nice how they literally just made a Trello while I'm recording this video. It's a great feeling because now I know, you know, I, I more or less have a sense of direction now. I, I may not know necessarily what to do, but I have a guide at the very least. You know what I mean? Okay, so it seems that this is the next area to be at. But we need to set our spawn point. So I don't know where that's at. Yeah, yeah. Okay, Crave is taking us to where the the spawn setter dude is at oh 
All right, it's just at the docks over here. Not bad. All right, so we got to click. There we go. We set our spawn. And I'm pretty sure this is the, the quest. Oh, no, this is Black Merchant 2. Okay, the Black Market Merchant 2, excuse me. So, yeah, we can spend gems and stuff to buy these fruits. I'm kind of tempted to buy a double fruit with bow bucks, but they're just so expensive. Even though you permanently own them, you know, it's, it's pretty expensive. All right, so this island is absolutely massive. I'm looking around to see where the quest giver is at. Can't really find him. Oh. There's a quest giver over here, though. Let's see. Quest number three. The Marines are up to no good. Uh, seven Marines. Okay. Actually, I took an... Wait, what? Oh, I have the part. Oh, my God. I had a quest from the previous island active. So, let me take this on again. So, seven Marines is what we need to defeat. That should be pretty easy, I think. Uh, we're just going to attack here. All right. So, we just killed one. There we go. We killed four. Oh, even better. You see, it seems that every map has an area where NPCs are clustered together. And these are basically the Marines all clustered together over here so that makes it easy for us to just complete this quest all right there you go easy peasy lemon squeezy man all right guys so i just completed the quest again but i noticed that in this corner there's an npc so it's actually zoro i don't know what he's gonna tell us but i'm a pirate hunter sword blah blah, blah. this sword is getting old do you want to purchase it for a hundred thousand belly okay so i'm definitely because i think he might sell us one sword style since it's so earlier into the game i can't believe it'll be two sword style or three sword style but somebody just killed me but yeah we're gonna we're gonna get our belly up for sure we're almost at 100k anyways and then we'll try to buy whatever Soto's uh selling us you know so i just took on the quest to take on axe Chaw morgan who's down over here it should be pretty easy to kill him off since he's not that high of a level and there you go so she wrote so and we now have 115,000 bellies so we can buy what is one sword style from zoro i actually know that it is one sword style so this is one sword style. i hope that i can get back my um my yoru because so I'm, I'm gonna show you guys what i mean so like i said i knew that soto was gonna give us one sword style because in the trello it says you can obtain it from buying it from soto right now if you guys take a look over here they have a weapon storage this is where your weapons are stored and it's in log town so i'm saying that i hope i can get my yoru back because it might be over there it doesn't seem to be in my inventory system here but uh we'll check out some of our abilities right we have z which is the line song that actually looked really 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 good and actually we need to level up our one sword style in order to use other abilities so let's try to oh my gosh i'm gonna die here <laughs> oh gosh man oh gosh okay so i just got my mastery up to um to 16 so pound phoenix is my next ability and i need to have 320 stamina like i said th this game is great and everything but the stamina system sucks like i i hate how much stamina you need to use your abilities like it's so high for no reason it, it gets in the way of everything so all right we now have 320 stamina we're gonna press our x key holy smokes bro this is what i mean too like the abilities look so good in this game it's like why wouldn't they want you to basically have the ability to use your moves more you know what i mean but um yeah i I'm, i want to get my yoru back so i'm gonna try to make my way to low town because grinding without yoru is pretty difficult in this game given that again stamina is required for mostly everything so all right we're gonna you know try to make our way to low town which has to be this island down over here so i don't know we'll see all right by the way the dinghy boat finally works now i managed to spawn it and it's obviously very slow <laughs> two hours later all right guys so we've arrived uh let's just try to find this weapon storage dude over here i don't know where he could be at but we'll figure it out i'll keep you guys posted oh actually okay so if you go to the center of low town you can find my boy over here so you can talk to him yes uh bro they they, did they just finesse me out of my yoru you already own this item your account has not been charged okay so where where's my yoru it's not in storage it's not in the dude that they said is the weapon storage guy uh okay <sighs> Uh, hold on a minute okay here's what i'm gonna do i'm gonna set my spawn point over here because this is where i gotta be at anyways since this is quest area number four i'm probably not at the level requirement that we need to be here but whatever it is what it is i'm pretty sure i can just like um finesse my abilities for example so um, let me go and see all right like my x key ability here and then maybe i can just kill these guys off and get a decent amount of xp and maybe maybe i can do this 
all the way up until I get to the level that I need to be at for this area, right? But anyway, I am going to rejoin and I'm going to hope and pray that I have my Yoru still. I'm not even going to wait for this game to load assets. I'm just, oh my God. Yes. <laughs> Bro, I thought this game bamboozled me hard. Wait, why the hell is this guy a log? All right. All right. Yo, haha. -ha, get it? The Marines cut down my family and he's a log, you know? All right, whatever. Anyways, I'll get your revenge, brother. I'll defeat these Marines for you, my man. Don't even worry about it. Let me see if my stat points are allocated. All right, I have 16 stat points. Let's put them all into sword. Let's get it, my boy. There you go, my boy. This is what I wanted to do. Just spam my Z key, man. This is why Yoru is the best. All right, guys. So we get like 30k belly after completing the quest, which is pretty good, honestly. So I'm going to do this a couple more times and I'll catch you guys when I'm like high enough level to get into the next area. Matter of fact, maybe I might be able to even take on. Oh, yeah. Let's try to take on the boss. Might as well kill him before somebody else steals our, our loot, as they say. So let's do that. Let's do this. This guy can't even move. So it's going to be an easy kill for sure. And here we go. That's all she wrote there you go so yeah we gained three levels not bad at all and we got 50k belly which is really 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 good by the way guys i wanted to show you that they have two other npcs or well, actually three other npcs in this island so they have the random fruit guy that uh sells double fruits for bow bucks but i think still might be glitched out let's see come on okay no yeah you see what i mean and uh this person over here resets your devil fruits for 100 gems i like the effect on his fist there but yeah we also have another npc in the middle which is the black market merchant so it seems that mostly on every island you're gonna have a black market merchant which is nice because it takes away uh takes away excuse me the stress of you having to go back to spawn or starter island to try to talk to a you know a black merchant, if you will. Holy smokes. What does this man even have? What is this? Damn, that looks so freaking cool. <laughs> Bro, I really like how unique this is. Oh my God, I died. But I like how unique they've made it in this game with devil fruits where it's like it's kind of like a jojo's games with like stands and stuff that isn't even from like jojo's you know but yeah this is like super cool stuff man i really like this a lot this game is cool by the way guys i wanted to show you that they do have black leg available in the game but it costs 500k belly to get and you learn it from sanji now i also wanted to show you guys that rayleigh or riley whatever you want to call him he was selling ornament hockey for 700k belly so but that's gonna take you know quite some time to get of course anyway guys we're gonna try to make our way into the next island which is the rocks island i'm gonna buy a uh, a sailboat here and i'm gonna spawn it so the sailboats are a little bit faster than the dinkies of course so anyway from Logetown, town pretty sure all you gotta do is just go southeast and this is gonna be the rocks island so after that there's only two more islands we can go to if you look at the map over here they have the buggy island over here and then the coliseum so basically you fight buggy himself on buggy island and then i think crocodile might be the boss in the coliseum for the time being but i don't know we'll find out as we go i, I really want to get a devil fruit man but uh i don't know it's so tough i think we're gonna have to leave devil fruits for another video if i make one but uh, I'm gonna try to see if I can get for sure ornament hockey and black legs so I can show you guys how those things look because I mean I don't know the the VFX in this game is really solid so far it looks really good in my opinion so I'm hoping for the best here okay guys so we've just arrived to the rocks island i'm gonna set my spawn point over here and then we're gonna talk to this guy and take on the quest so it's just a bunch of like monkeys and gorillas that we got to kill off over here so let's take on the monkeys first and we'll see how easy it is to kill them off seems pretty easy so far yeah definitely pretty easy stuff apparently we got another item that's gonna be in the weapon storage i hate how like they don't fill out your inventory before sending stuff into your item storage i don't know why they do that but it is what it is all right so we completed the quest we got a really Really good amount of levels i'm just gonna take on the gorillas now yeah so i don't even know if honestly i'm at the level that i'm supposed to be at to accept these quests or if it's just that this game doesn't have a level requirement for you to accept quests you know it could be that but anyhow we just got to defeat 10 gorillas here's sanji by the way right next to the gorillas that's where you learn black leg from by the way guys really easy way for you to level up is to manually just one tap these guys get them all up and if you have your rule well it's easy sailing as you guys can see all you got to do is just spam your z key and that's all you got to do so i actually almost you know what getting money in this game is really easy once you get to higher level areas so i almost have 500k belly so i'm gonna buy black leg before we go 
back to buy ornament hockey. As a matter of fact, let me try to defeat the Gorilla King himself, which is the boss for this area. That the boss should definitely give us like around like maybe like 150 to 200k. Oh look, and they have gorillas in the water down over here too. <laughs> what the heck? All right, yeah. So here's the Gorilla King. Let's see. Will this guy even be? Okay, yeah. We can definitely kill him. He seems to have a lot of HP though. So we just gotta run around and avoid contact with him. But we can definitely kill him. Yep. There you go. We killed him, and for sure we got 100k. Uh, well, just about 100k belly. So not bad. I'm gonna go ahead and take on the Gorilla Quest again because they give a really good amount of belly and a good amount of levels as well, might I add. So before we actually even complete the quest, I'm gonna talk to Sanji and I'm gonna buy black leg from him. Let's say yes. All right, so we just got black leg and basically now all we need to do is allocate our stat points into melee. So we need to have 50 stat points into melee, uh, which is going to be a little bit of an issue for us to get, but I'm going to try to get it for you guys. That way I can use these abilities. So let me just get some more levels and I'll catch you guys in a bit here. Oh my Lord. What the hell? <laughs> Well, that just happened. Okay, guys. So I finally got enough stat points to show you guys uh, black leg or maybe not. What the heck? I thought black leg was supposed to take strength, but it seems that my abilities are still locked off in the right hand corner. That's interesting. So I wonder what they actually. Oh, wait a minute. I need an additional five stat points on. Huh? I think. I don't know. Let me let me let me see. No, the abilities are still locked off. I'm going to try to use them. Um, whoa. How the heck did this guy teleport to me? OK, I, I don't know if this guy's an admin or what, but it doesn't seem like it because in the this man says gang in them, but I don't know how he teleported to me. I, whatever. Anyway, the anti manner kick. OK, we just use my Z key, but I mean, I can't use my other abilities. Oh, my other abilities in mastery. I keep forgetting this game is not based off of stat points. It's mastery. I'm so dumb. All right. So yeah, let's just get these guys uh, around us. So I'm going to use my Yoru to aggro them. All right, my boy, my boy, you're going to get in my way, bro. So yeah, I'm going to show you guys the anti manner uh, kick again. So that's my Z key. Holy smokes, we barely do damage. Yeah, we barely do damage, my boy. It's going to be a tough one, man. I ain't going to lie to you. Oh my God, we barely do damage and it costs 320 stamina to use that move. Oh, nah, get out of here. So yeah, I'm going to show you guys black leg in just a while. Let me grind out. I have enough to use hockey because these gorillas let's give a really good amount of belly all right guys so i'm in an area which is called alabasta this is actually where crocodile is at crocodile contrary to what i said earlier in the video is not in the coliseum area alabasta is just not marked on the map they have in the trello but this is quest area number seven and i've been over here because you basically do not need to be a certain level to take on quests so you can take on quests at any level from any area and the npcs in this area i can kill and that's what i've been doing i got like a million belly doing this and you know it's just really easy stuff because i have your rule of course if you don't have your rule then um you know your luck and mileage may vary obviously but since we have enough stat points now oh well not stat points but belly to buy ourselves hockey that's exactly what we're gonna do we're actually gonna even try to get a random devil fruit from the fruit seller at the spawn area uh and it seems that black leg is really good because this guy's been grinding over here and he seems to be using black leg itself so uh, i don't know we'll see how this goes some guys are really high level in this game uh some dudes in here are like level 600 so it's insane how high of a level some people are but yeah like i said um i'm just gonna get my boat gonna buy a sail ship since you know we're pretty powerful and we're just gonna drive my boat out of here man you know what i mean we're gonna go to the spawn area actually real quick we're gonna make a stop at low town because we've actually been getting a lot of drops so i want to just check what drops we've gotten so far and you know what we can take so let's do that before anything all right so let's talk to my boy over here let's look at our weapon storage so yeah we have a lot of stuff you see we have a desert bandit scarf we have an iron jaw marine cap a unique marine cap let's take that out so let's check this bad boy out oh it has like a little gold <laughs> that is funny all right um so let's swap this out again for the desert bandit scarf and that's how that looks all right so we're gonna check out i guess we can check out the monkey paw next so you guys can see how this looks so the monkey paw actually just literally is on our waist and it looks pretty bad so i'm not even gonna bother with that next accessory we're gonna check out is the iron jaw from axe morgan that we killed on yeah there you go it looks like that it looks pretty cool but i think i'm gonna stick with the unique item that i have which is the unique marine hat it might not be that rare but at least it is a unique item so like i said we're gonna stick with what we got so now that we have that we're gonna make our way out of here and go back to the spawn area so that we can uh oh, actually we don't need to go to the spawn area just set i'm gonna go get myself hockey first and then we'll go to the spawn area 
to uh to buy ourselves a double fruit and that's actually where i'm gonna try to also get my mastery up because you know i can't get my mastery up on these other islands given that these npcs one shot me so guys we've made our way to strawberry island which was the second island that we were at in case you forgot already this is where riley rayleigh whatever you want to call him is at right back over here in this hidden cave area and of course that's where you get arnim and hockey all right here we go we're gonna talk to him yes we have 700k belly well there you go we got it so now when we take our or excuse me when we take out our yoru we can press the g key to activate our hockey and that's how it looks there is no or but i think there did i just kill this guy by mistake oh no i almost attacked him but yeah i think there might be an aura in place later on because they have like this little outline on yoru but uh black leg is also here we'll press the g key to activate our hockey and it looks like that it's actually green maybe because of our yoru but um yeah this looks pretty cool so anyway i think i might be able to well then again hold on a minute let me pop this up we'll use six stat points and put it into our defense <laughs> uh because we have not upgraded our defense since the very beginning so these guys might actually hit us for a decent amount of damage but it seems that wow okay we got a lot of XP from killing that guy right there, or these guys, excuse me. So, we just gotta keep using our black click to kill these dudes off, and we'll be good. So far, we're at 19 mastery, so we're doing all right for sure. So, something that I'm noticing while I'm grinding out these levels for black leg guys is that it actually takes five stamina per hit away when you attack. Like, I don't know, this stamina system in this game, like, I get it. At higher levels, it becomes obsolete, essentially, just because you're basically so powerful and have so many stat points. But at a lower level, like bro the stamina system is just absolute dookie you know what i mean but uh anyways we're doing all right so far okay we died all right and the unfortunate part is that i spawned all the way back over here <laughs> Well, regardless, I can't even show you guys all the abilities for black leg because, for example, my X key, I can't even use because you need 480 stamina. But luckily, I think I leveled up once. Oh, I have nine stat points. Okay, so I can put some into stamina here. So yeah, my table party roundhouse kick. I mean, I can't even use it still. What about my mountain shot? Nope. Yo, these abilities are so tough to use, man. All right, but I can use my Z key ability though, for sure. That I can use. You guys saw how that looks. So let's reset our character. I'm going to go ahead and use my X key so I can show you guys the table party roundhouse kick. I mean, this ability just goes crazy. I'm going to reset so that I can show you guys just with 55 strength, right? How much we do as far as damage on these guys. Again, we're going to use our x key and i mean just look at how busted this ability is this ability is arguably better than using any of the yuru abilities that's insane right so yeah black leg is a really really good fighting style in this game so let's reset again we're actually going to talk to this guy so that we can take on uh, the eight desert bandit quests but yeah i'm gonna go ahead and use my party roundhouse table kick again all right we died <laughs> Damn it. All right, but let me just show you guys the other ability then. So, Mouton Shot is my next ability. It looks like that. And then my last one, or my last ability, which is Diable. Jambe. I have to be level 50, so I need to complete this quest a couple of times. But it should definitely be very easily doable. So, I will catch you guys in just a bit here. All right, guys. It didn't take that long. I'm going to press the F key here, and there's my Diable Jambe ability. Bro, Black Leg is absolutely busted though all right black leg is really 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 powerful again i barely have any stat points into my melee bro like honestly if i put in these additional 10 stat points and then another two into stamina right let me reset so i can get my stamina back yo you guys are gonna see this is so busted bro with hockey and diable jambe activated we're about to go crazy watch there we go we have both of our moves activated and queued up right look at this guys we're gonna press the x key to use the table party roundhouse kick oh my gosh they didn't kill everybody off but he killed a really decent amount of them off which is really good and i mean just oh gosh yes sir we're op baby okay and we look really good too we actually look like a high level player now you know so oh my god look i have black leg hockey and i have your rule hockey yo i look so freaking swole and powerful right now bro <laughs> All right, so now moment of truth, we're gonna spawn in another boat. Actually, we gotta clear out the other boat that we had. So now we can spawn in a big boat. And the reason why we're gonna spawn in this big boat is because we're gonna finally go back to the spawn area so that we can take a look at some of the devil fruits in the game. We'll try our luck. Hopefully we have enough, right? I think we have enough belly. We have 845K belly. I hope that's enough. Otherwise, I don't know. All right, guys, we officially have made our way at, or to, excuse me, the spawn island, starter island, whatever you wanna call it. So we're just gonna to talk to this guy over here which is the random fruit number two dude yes i want to buy with in-game currency 
2.5 million but god damn it uh, all right you know what if you guys want to see more content in this game let me know and i'll make another video on it and then we can you know get some devil fruits and i'll show you guys the devil fruits and hopefully get some rare devil fruit variations as well um because i've been playing this game for like about two hours plus and I i'm just i'm just tired i don't want to play anymore <laughs> so yeah i don't know i like the game it's cool definitely recommend you guys to go check it out have some fun it's not that hard to level up but granted i did have you know two times xp for most of the video and i had two times belly active for like a good amount of time i still have about five hours of double belly left so anyway yeah i'll catch you guys later much love we're double uploading tonight so stay tuned all right guys